Go. Okay, folks, we have a very dirty console on this old car. So traditionally, you'd get in here, you'd blow this out with compressed air, you'd use a toothbrush, you'd have to loosen some of that dirt, get in there with a toothbrush, wipe it up with a microfiber towel. So the steam on the Chief is going to act as its own compressed air. Right now, I have no chemical sprayed in here, so we're going to see if we can get this all with just the steam. I'm using the single hole nozzle. Single hole nozzle acts a little bit more like a blaster. So we have a lot of dirt in where the emergency brake lever is. There's a lot of dirt in where these cup holders are. The seam where the shifter is, we want to get that out. This front cup holder, the chain hole, the change holder. So I want to blow all that out and then follow it up with the towel. So I'm going to try and wipe. I'm going to cup my towel so I don't blow stuff all over the place and try and blow a lot of the excess into the towel and then wipe as I'm going along. So I'm going to work myself from back to front and see how we can do. My steam pressure is a little less than half. So here it's not about gigantic pressure. We're just trying to get everything out of here. Now the steam is also going to block my view. So it's going to be a little difficult to see. And if we get in there and we twist the towel like this, the dirt should be loosened up and we should just be able to wipe it. And we didn't create too much wetness where it's impossible to wipe. I'm going to work myself around the emergency brake lever now. At the same time, I can peel the seat back. I can peel the seat back to check to see if there's any coffee spills or any drink that was spilled at any time. And also get the, the single hole nozzle in there and use this like compressed air to blow a lot of stuff that's sitting in there that we can't see or we can't reach with the vacuum. Blow it out towards the back. Blow it out towards the front. Keep work our way to the front. So this plastic plate is a little bit scratched up. That's not dirt. That's just some scratches on there. Now I could use a brush. I'm going to shift them up, see how it comes out, just last so I can just play with some steam and then aggressively wipe it with the towel. And now I come over to my chain holder. Over to the front cup holder, now I've lost my view. Again, we get in there with our towel and just wipe in circles to try and pick up the dirt that we've loosened. And in the change holder, we just have to get our fingers in here. Now, some of these older plastics, if we were using a brush and really trapping the steam onto the surface, you can discolor this plastic because this is an older car. By blowing it with just the nozzle, we're not creating as much heat, so we're not going to damage that plastic surface. That's what you have to watch out for on some of these older cars with the cheaper plastics. So we've been able to get in here. Now, later on, I'll put the car uh, in gear and move that back and get right above the uh, the park. We, we always want to move that shifter level lever back a little bit. But for the most part, we came in, made pretty quick work of this, other than some just a little bit of dust flying back into the area. We've got that pretty good. And we've got this back cup holder, which was really dirty. We've got that pretty good. So the seams in here by the emergency brake lever, we've got all that pretty good. 
we've blown out the side of the seat. We'll come back, clean the seat later. We'll come back and we'll see, we'll uh, clean the seat back belt holder later. Also, there's a lot of dirt in there. There's some dirt on the side, but this was just the one section. We did the uh, center armrest before. So the plastic is not in the greatest condition. It doesn't have a factory gloss on it anymore, but the bottom line is it's clean. Okay. Okay.